Um, hello and welcome to this video on using the uh, Texas Instruments TI-83 graphing calculator to uh, essentially input uh, matrices and solve a, a simple 3x3 uh, three three, uh, system of equation using matrices uh, uh, using the, the TI-83. So anyway, I guess uh, this is uh, the TI-83 that we're going to use in this video. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of an older model TI-83. I bought this probably back in like 1995 or 1996. Uh, they're sort of updated, but the functionality is basically the same. Uh, one word, if you are using a TI-83+, Plus, you might want to watch, uh, I'm going to do another video in a second, uh, where we're going to essentially do the same exact thing, but on a TI-84. Uh, you might want to watch that video instead because uh, it's, it's basically the same exact in, uh, uh, thing that we're going to do. It's basically the same exact operation. Uh, it's just that the buttons are in a slightly different place. They're in more of a place uh, on the TI-83+, plus. the buttons look more like the, uh, they do on a TI-84. Uh, so anyway... I guess with that introduction, uh, let me just show you the equation that we're going to be solving. So this is our equation, AX equal B. So this is kind of like the fundamental, you know, most basic equation uh, that you can have in linear algebra where I have my matrix A. A is a 3 by 3 matrix multiplied by an unknown vector X, a vector that has all my unknown variables, I1, V0, and V3 in this particular uh, situation, and then my matrix B, which is also another vector that's essentially the right-hand side of each of my three equations. Um, so anyway, if you're watching uh, this video, this is either a standalone video just on matrices, or you might be watching this as part of a video series I did on nodal analysis where we got these equations that described a, uh, a particular circuit. Uh, you know, doesn't matter if you're watching this video as part of that or if you're watching it completely out of order. This is just completely about how to put these matrices into a calculator, uh, the TI-83, and how to solve, uh, uh, how to solve for X. So anyway, you know, as we've said before, this is my equation AX equal B. And if I multiply A inverse on both sides of this equation, essentially A inverse times A is equal to this matrix that we call the identity, which is basically like multiplying another matrix by 1. So if I multiply A inverse times A times X on my left-hand side of the equation, and if I multiply A inverse times B on the right-hand side, and notice I have to multiply by A inverse on the same side of both of these expressions. I couldn't have put A inverse like on the right side of B over here. I had to put A inverse on this side of B because I multiplied by A inverse on, on uh, this side over here. But if I do this, I simplify this down to my vector x, and x is what I'm looking for here, x is my, my unknowns, is equal to A inverse times my matrix B. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put our matrix A and our matrix B into the calculator, and then we're going to compute A inverse and multiply it times our matrix B. So let me go ahead and grab the calculator. So this is my old TI-83. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and this is what we get. And we're just going to use this matrix button right here. If you have an 83 plus, the matrix button isn't right here. What you have to do is you have to hit second, and I'm pretty sure matrix is under the, uh, the inverse button, but pretty much it's a second something. Like, you don't just have a, a dedicated button for matrices. But, uh, but aside from that, there's no other difference between this calculator and another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit my matrix button. And this is the menu I get. I can select a bunch of matrices uh, that are already input. Uh, I can select from a bunch of different math operations on those matrices. Or I can uh, go and edit those matrices. So we are actually, like when I start out, let me second quit out of this. So I'm going to hit the matrix button again. I start on the names column. I'm going to go over to the right two clicks, so that's one, two, to the edit column. And I want to edit matrix A because I want to put this information in there. So uh, right now I'm I start off with a three by three. So I'm actually going to keep that three by three. I'm going to hit three, enter, three, enter. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in this information. Notice I'm not going to simplify this by hand. I'm just going to let the calculator simplify it for me. So I hit 1, enter, 1 over 6, enter, 
1 over 4, enter, 0, enter. Then I'm just going to put in this whole string right here, minus 1 over 6, minus 1 over 12, minus 1 over 15, hit enter. And then I'm going to put in 1 over 12, 1 over 12, enter. As you can tell, my entries here aren't changing just because I, I already put this stuff into the calculator, so I'm actually kind of entering this in again. But, uh, okay, so I'm on this entry, so I hit 0, enter. That stays 0. This is going to be 1 over 12, hit enter. And now this is going to be minus 1 over 4, minus 1 over over 12, and that's it. That's my A matrix. So now I can second quit out of this, and if I wanted to like print out my A matrix or do stuff to my A matrix, I can go into my matrix menu again, and under names, I just select the first option for A matrix, and if I hit enter, it'll print out that A matrix. And you know, I can do different operations with it. I can say like, say you wanted to like add two to every single entry in your A matrix. You can hit enter. Oh, I guess you can't do that. Well, anyway, you can do, you can basically do matrix operations from, uh, from uh, uh, using that A variable. The most important one is going to be, if I grab my matrix A and I want to invert it, I hit this invert X to the minus one button. So I raise A to the minus one power. That basically means I'm going to invert my matrix A and this is what I get for my inverse. So anyway, now what we have to do is we have to actually have to put in our matrix B. So this is my matrix B right here. So I'm going to go ahead back to my matrix menu, go to matrix. I'm going to go over two clicks to the right um, to my edit menu. And now instead of editing matrix A, I'm going to edit matrix B. So matrix B is a three row, one column matrix, so I'm going to have three, enter, one, enter, that gives me a three by one. Um, and now I'm just going to, uh, again, put in these numbers. And again, I'm not simplifying this, I'm letting the calculator simplify it. So this is 3.3 .3 over six plus 3.3 .3 over four, first entry. This is minus 3.3 .3 over 6, and then the last one is minus 3.3 .3 over 4 minus 1. So there, it's all in uh, matrix B. So now what I'm going to do is I want to figure out what X is. I want to figure out uh, what X is equal to, so I have to take my A matrix, invert it, and then multiply A inverse times my B matrix. So to do that, I'm going to second quit out of my matrix menu. I'm going to do open parentheses, go to matrix, grab my A matrix. So I've, my A matrix is selected right now, so I just hit enter to grab it. I'm going to raise that to the minus one power, which is essentially inverting it. So that gives me A inverse. Close my parentheses, and now I'm going to multiply that times my B matrix. So I've gone back to my matrix menu, I've now selected my B matrix, hit enter, hit enter, and it solves it for me, and I get uh, this answer. So anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. That's how you use uh, the TI-83 um, to solve uh, a 3 by 3 uh, uh, matrix equation, pretty much. The, I've, uh, I'm able to solve for my matrix X. Uh, so anyway, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Um, uh, yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video. Thank you.